hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can make an announcement on a class on google classroom so guys it's very easy to do if you want to know how to do it just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all and also if you're new to our youtube channel don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment as that will help grow this youtube channel so guys without any further ado let's get started so guys now the first step you have to take now is to open your google classroom app so guys let me tap on it right away So guys, once the Google Classroom app opens up, the next step you have to take now is to tap on the class that you want to make the announcement in. So guys, now what you have to do now is to select the class. So guys, now let me tap on one of my class right away. Let me tap on this one right here. So guys, now you can see I've opened this class. So guys, now in case you want to make an announcement, what you have to do now is to tap on where you can see announce something to your class. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. So guys, let me tap on it right away. So guys, now the next step you have to take now is to type in the announcement that you want to give to your class. You can see where it is written, announce something to your class. What you have to do now is to tap on it in order to type the announcement. So guys, let me tap on that place where the arrow is pointing at. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can go ahead now to type the announcement that you want to give to your class. So guys, let me type this. Um, there will be a continuous assessment next week. Make sure you're very prepared. And make sure you check the attachment below. We have given you guys the area of concentration where you can read and expect questions from. So guys, let me type that real quick. Yeah. So guys, now you can see I've been able now to type in the announcement I want to give to my class. Let me get to read it out loud. There will be a continuous assessment next week. So make sure you prepare very well. Make sure you check the attachment below within which you find the area of concentration for this course. It will help you streamline your reading and enable you to know where you should be expecting most of my questions from. So guys, now you've heard the announcement I want to give to my class. So guys, now the next step I have to take now is to add the attachment. You can see where it is written, add attachment. That's where you can tap on for you to be able to add an attachment. The attachment can be an image, it can be a PDF file, it can be a Word document, whichever one, just add it. So guys, let me tap on where it is written, add attachment to add my attachment. Let me tap on it right away. You can see where the arrow is pointing at. So guys, now you can see the options we are given. The first one is add from Google Drive. The second one is insert link. The next one is upload file. The next one is speak photo. The next one is take photo. This next one is record video. While the last one is create new PDF. So guys, now you can choose any of these depending on the type of attachments that you want to send along this announcement. So guys, I want to send an image. So let me tap on where it is written pick photo. You can see there, that's the third option. The arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see it has taken me to my phone storage where I have my images. So guys, now let me select the image I want. Let me tap on this one right here. So guys, now you can see it's uploading the image. Let's just wait for a few seconds. So guys, now you can see the image right there. You can see the attachment right there. The arrow is pointing at it. But guys, in case you have many attachment to upload, you can tap on where it is written add attachment to upload multiple attachments. Guys, the next step you have to take now is to tap on post. But guys, if I do that, I would like to show you guys something. In case you need only specific student to get this announcement, what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written all students. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, from here now, you can decide which student will receive this announcement and which student will not receive this announcement. You can decide to leave it at all students, then all your students will be able to receive the announcement. But in case you want specific student to receive it, what you have to do now is to unselect those students that you don't want this announcement to get to. So guys, you can do that by tapping on the names of the students. So let me tap on the first one. You can see that one has been unselected. Let me tap on the last one. You can see I'm left with only two students. So guys, now you can see I've unselected two students. So now only two students will be able to see this announcement so guys in case you want all the students they tap on all the students at the top and all the students will be able to see this announcement so guys let me tap on all students and let me tap on done so guys now the next thing you have to be sure of is the class that you're actually sending this announcement to to be sure you have to tap on where the arrow is pointing at you can see it there once you tap on it you will see all the list of your classes that you've created here on google classroom so guys let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see these are the two classes I've created on Google Classroom. So you have to choose which class that you want to send this announcement to. So guys now you can see that's the right class. The right class has been selected. So let me tap on done. So guys now once you've done checking all of this and all these things are right. What you have to do now is to tap on post. So guys you can see there at the top right corner the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys now you can see it's posting my announcement to the class. So guys now you can see what is written down there. Announcement created. You can see. 
so guys now you can see we've made the announcement our announcement has been created you can see the date it was sent you can see the time it was sent you can see the attachment and the text of the announcement so guys now this is how you can actually create an announcement on any class on google classroom so guys now from here anyone who is in the class will be able to see this announcement and they'll be able to reply to this announcement they'll be able to comment on this announcement and that's if you allow that feature and also the selected students will receive an email from google adsense they will receive the announcement as an email so guys now i've come to the end of this video and i believe you got value from this if you did make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment and also if you're new to our youtube channel don't forget to hit the bell notification so that whenever i release new videos like this one you're gonna get notified see you on next upload bye bye peace